Hey there, fellow space explorers, gamers, and thrill seekers. Get ready to buckle up because today we're diving headfirst into the mind-blowing, pulse-pounding, universe-expanding world of Starfield. Folks, we're about to embark on a journey that's out of this world. I mean, we're talking about the best game ever, a flawed masterpiece, something that's so misunderstood it might just surprise you. Hold on to your helmets because we're about to blast off into the cosmos and discover why Starfield is the game that's got everyone talking. You won't believe the adventure that awaits us as we unravel the mysteries of this epic space odyssey. Trust me, it's going to be one wild ride, and you won't want to miss a second of it. So, grab your space snacks, set your phasers to awesome, and let's dive right into the first module of our Starfield exploration. Picture a game that has the potential to etch its name into the annals of gaming history, a title that could redefine our very notion of greatness. That's the tantalizing promise that Starfield delivered upon its release. Join us as we explore why it has become one of the best games ever created. Variety is the spice of life, and Starfield's release has certainly spiced things up. With a galaxy as vast as the one in Starfield, there's no shortage of diversity. Each planet we encountered had its own ecosystem, its own alien species, and its own distinct challenges. It's the variety that keeps us on our toes, wondering what lies beyond the next wormhole or beneath the surface of the next planet. Released into the gaming universe, Starfield offers a level of diversity that ensures there's always something new and unexpected waiting for us. It's not just about the visual variety, it's about the gameplay diversity as well. Each planet offers unique opportunities and challenges, from resource gathering to encounters with indigenous life forms. It's this variety that keeps the game feeling fresh and exciting, even after hours of gameplay. Sometimes, after a long gaming session, it feels like the walls are closing in on me. It's like I'm still in the game and reality is just a distant echo. I hear voices, I see planets, and it's all a bit surreal. It's a testament to Starfield's immersion, but it can also be a little disconcerting. I guess it's a price I'm willing to pay for exploring the cosmos from the comfort of my own home. When I first played Starfield upon its release, I was immediately struck by its ability to transport me to another world. It was like a sensory overload, a complete immersion into the game's universe, but sometimes after a particularly intense gaming session. I find myself still hearing the game's soundtrack in my head or seeing the vastness of space when I close my eyes. It's like the game's world has seeped into my consciousness, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. It's both exhilarating and disorienting, a reminder of the power of gaming to completely captivate our senses. The release of Starfield was a journey that extended beyond the screen, and it's a testament to the game's ability to leave a lasting imprint on our minds and souls. Well, folks, that's a wrap on another mind-blowing exploration of Starfield. Can you believe the incredible journey we've been on today? I hope you had as much fun as I did diving into the world of the best game ever, a flawed masterpiece, or whatever incredible aspect of Starfield we've been uncovering. If you're as passionate about gaming as I am, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll never miss out on our next interstellar adventure together. And hey, if you've got your own thoughts, opinions, or wild theories about Starfield, don't be shy. Drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from fellow space enthusiasts like you. Until next time, space travelers, keep exploring, keep gaming, and keep reaching for the stars.